Great. Hey, let me ask you about um, uh, CNN uh, online did did had a couple of quotes from the past. Uh, we'll put a couple of them up. Uh, and what do you say to people who are concerned about past statements? Uh, like, for instance, Minister uh, Farrakhan is a role model for black youth. Wrote Ellison at Insight News op-ed in 1995. He is not an anti-Semite. And then they also said that even in 2000, Ellison publicly defended violent fringe elements of the far left. What, uh, what are your responses to uh, the CNN reporting and other people that bring up uh, this past? I think that it is uh, bad reporting because I have a 10-year record in Congress. I have a four-year record in the Minnesota State House. I practiced law for 16 years right. and did a lot. I mean, and I just think that you know it's just that kind of reporting that uh, you know just that sort of is not quality and doesn't help people understand so the real issues. Is, so just to clear, clarify it, then based on again all these quotes and sort of the the buzz out there, what CNN and others were reporting on what you said before. Do you believe that Louis Farrakhan? is an anti-Semite. Sure, but I mean, what does he have to do with anything going on in this race or this country well, you, at this time? Absolutely some, nothing. Well, CNN, I mean, look, CNN it was says that you've, you've said some positive things about Minister Farrakhan, a role model for black youth. But here's the thing, Joe. We're talking about something that happened in 1995. Right. This was, this was a year that the Million Man March took off. Right. People were attacking the march at the time. The march was a very good thing. I was very proud to be part of it. But here I am, having to answer questions about right. this, and I'm not talking about what our country needs to look like and what the Democratic Party can do, because this smear campaign from almost 21 years ago, right. or something like that, is this is about distracting and taking people away from the issues that really are at hand in this case. Right. Really? And you know, I think it serves somebody's political purpose to push this stuff, right. but it doesn't serve the public interest to serve it. But you there know, are, uh, Congressman, there are some Jewish Democrats who look back, and if you're gonna leave the party, they look at those comments with some fear and some trepidation. Do you disavow quotes like that, the one we just read? Man, I'm telling you back in 2006 and before I disavowed him, right. that's the ridiculous thing about this. Okay. That we keep on having to answer this kind of stuff. But let me tell you, it's not that people are, I don't think people are, who are pushing it are genuinely curious. They don't want to talk about what the Democratic Party needs to look like to be an effective vehicle for the hopes and dreams of average yeah. Americans. So they bring up this kind of stuff yeah. and get you to make, get, make me right. answer so this kind of stuff well, on national television. Congressman, you've, you've led me to my next question then. Uh, 